Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to share with y'all my favorites. And if you don't know who I am, I am Devin. I'm an esthetician and I'm a beauty content creator. I've tried hundreds of thousands of products and I like to share the best of the best with you and just talk about all things beauty with a little bit of my life thrown in. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit subscribe and let's jump into the video. I had a really hard time narrowing this down to my top pigs, but I think these are the things that I consistently wanted to keep talking about all month and I still am going to keep using them throughout the rest of the year and probably into 2023. So I really wanted to show you guys the things that I've been reaching for and some of the stuff is stuff that I haven't even had a chance to talk about on Instagram yet. And some of the stuff you'll be like, okay, yeah, duh, you've been talking about this forever. So super excited to hear what you guys think and let me know below what your favorites were for the month, the things that were standout things. I'm always interested in discovering new products and I love hearing products from you because I think even some of these I discovered through followers. So let me know below. So I'm going to kick things off with some makeup and I wanted to first talk about the Makeup Forever Artist pencils. I think I've been talking about these since August, but I just could not stop using them and I picked up more in September, more in October, and I have five here. I actually think I'm missing one, but I'll show you guys the swatches, but I'm going to actually try on Versatile Chestnut on my lips. Um, you can see the swatches on hand, but I know everyone was talking about Anywhere Caffeine and Wherever Walnut, which are still two of my most used lippies, and they were favorites of Hailey Bieber's, and I think her makeup artist um, shared that those were the ones that she most commonly used on her. So they are always sold out, and I'm really sad because my favorite, Versatile Chestnut, it's the perfect like berry brown, this one seems to have gone, dis it disappeared off of Sephora's site and I'm praying it's coming back but I want to let you know about it because I think it's incredible and if you see it you should definitely grab it. But let's apply this. I'm going to get up close so you can see. I just think it's the most perfect. You guys know I love of mahogany. The Dior mahogany lip oil. I feel like it's the perfect compliment to any berry or brown or berry brown lip. I just love it and it, we're in the berry brown season so just applying that I'm gonna swatch it out. I think I'm gonna actually apply um, my Dior mahogany lip oil over it but this looks beautiful even with just a clear gloss. Let me grab my mahogany lip oil. It's somewhere around here. Maybe in this bag of lippies that I just pulled out of my purse because yes, I keep a bag of lippies. All right. So I have both my Dior mahogany lip products and October I pulled these back out. I was like, okay, it's mahogany season. So we're back and you can see it's just the most perfect compliment to mahogany and now I'm going to put the lip oil. So yeah, it disappeared literally the day the Sephora sale started and I'm really sad about it. I'm praying it comes back, but if you see it, definitely grab it. It is truly the most perfect compliment to a berry brown lip. Alright, so next up I want to talk about the Byredo. These are the lipstick vinyls. Um, these are a liquid lip and the thing that I really love about these is that they are basically a combination of a liquid lip and a glossy balm. So essentially, I know that's like very conflicting because a usually a liquid lip are known to be drying and matte. I feel like we are long past the days of the long wearing super matte uncomfortable lippies and the thing that I love about these is they apply they feel so nourishing at the end of the day not only does the color last incredibly well my lips feel so hydrated and nourished and while you do have some of that glossy finish when you first apply them it actually I find kind of wears throughout the day and it gives me more of like a satin to matte look to my lips while still being comfortable. So I really, really like that. I don't know that I love a liquid lip that stays super glossy on my lips. Keep in mind, this is not going to be a transfer proof lip product, but these are incredibly comfortable. Auburn to me is sort of like the perfect 
rusty orange red that I'm, I've been reaching for nonstop in fall. I wore this in New York City a ton and got so many compliments on it. This is like a perfect everyday nude, which is nice. I would say this is more neutral, leaning, cool, but I love it paired with a brown liner in the little try on because I just think it, you know, like warms it up a little bit, gives it a little bit more depth, but it's like the perfect everyday shade that I think would look so beautiful. They really made tones that I think will appeal to a lot of people and like they have a classic red, a classic like vampy maroon color called molasses that I'm probably going to get that's like a little bit chocolatey. It looks so beautiful and I feel like I need a classic red in this. There's also some more neutral beige nudes that I think a lot of people would really love as well. And yeah, I am blown away by those. They're $50 a pop, but the packaging is beautiful. They come in like a little case like this. I just, I can't stop recommending these. It's the first Byredo makeup product that I've tried and I'm pretty blown away. So I feel like I need to try out some more from the line. So if you have any recommendations and you've tried their stuff, let me know because I would love to check it out. Next up, I wanna talk about a blush. I feel like every month you can expect blushes and lip products. From me because those are my most two most bought products um, in the makeup realm because I pretty much keep a lot of my makeup pretty the same and neutral but I like to mix it up with blushes and lip products and I want to share Evaporate by Phytosurgeons. This is a part of their Toasted Blush collection and I had actually bought two others and they sent me this one just threw it into my order because they're perfect angels and I want to show you guys this color it they describe it as like a toasted smoky neutral peach and I want to share a swatch comparison so this is the phytosurgeons evaporate and then this is one of my most used and favorite blushes by Victoria Beckham playground but I actually love that this is like a little bit more neutral and more smoky this one is great all year round and it really kind of like brightens the face and gives more of a sun-kissed kind of look but I just love how neutral this blush is it goes with everything and I, I mean if you're a peachy blush addict and you're looking for something neutral that you want to be able to wear with a lot of different makeup looks this blush is incredible the thing that i really love about their blushes is they're kind of like a moussey texture but they just blend seamlessly into the skin and i find that they're matte to the touch so they're never going to be sticky so if you're someone who can't stand something sticky on your face these are perfection and they just blend so well and I do find that because this formula is like more of a matte to like powder kind of finish and feel um, you can see it still looks luminous because my skincare is kind of like shining through and I'm not wearing any highlighter or anything so it really lets my natural skin shine through but feels dry to the touch which I think is a lot of people's blush preference this is going to be perfect for people who don't like that bomb kind of texture. So highly recommend checking it out. They have their toasted blush collection it is so beautiful. I love some of their regular blushes as well. I have a bunch of their eyeshadows. They're just a lovely small brand from Canada and I cannot stop wearing this blush. So I have a deodorant. This is the salt and stone natural deodorant and I... I'm really, really picky about deodorants and I've tried a lot. I've tried a lot of what is out there and this scent is Santal and they also sent me, I have a bergamot and eucalyptus over there, which is also beautiful. I am obsessed with the scent of this. Not only does it work incredibly well, it just, it layers beautifully with all my fragrances. I don't like wearing a deodorant that's super strong and I feel like doesn't mesh with whatever fragrance I'm wearing, but I feel like because Santal is just like, a beautiful woody note it works well with a lot of the fragrances that I like to wear and I'm just really really blown away with this the packaging is cute the one thing I will say about this compared to the necessaire deodorant which I like their sandalwood deodorant but I find it extremely overpowering and it almost smells like borderline green which isn't my preference this is more warm and a cozy sandalwood this one doesn't have the chemical exfoliants that the necessaire does that help kill bacteria and also just help keep your scent neutral but this has worked really well for it says that it has um it's formulated for 48 hour protection 
and protects the skin with probiotics that help neutralize odor. So I do think there are some other things in here that are helping neutralize odor, but it doesn't have those same chemical exfoliants, which I know a lot of people like using in their armpits. Really, really blown away by this deodorant and I love the scent of the other one. Really, really impressed and I think the scents are incredible. I know my friend Kate also, we hadn't even talked about it and I saw her video and I was like, I'm obsessed with these two. The scents are so good and I really recommend checking them out if you're someone who likes natural deodorant and you love really good fragrances because that's that's your girl right there. So while we're talking about body products, I want to talk about the Salt Air Pink Beach Nourishing Body Oil. I'm a body oil junkie. You won't see a lot of body lotion, body butter favorites on my channel because I love the ease of keeping this in my shower. I turn my shower off. I apply, I think, like two to three pumps like per limb. Um, I rub it in while my skin is wet and it just basically locks in all of that moisture that's on my skin and I get out of the shower and I just like pat dry and my skin feels so nourished and happy and it's not like sticky, it doesn't get on my clothes. This is a really lightweight oil but it's not, it's not a super dry oil in the sense that some dry oils I feel like they're not really moisturizing my skin, whereas this one I feel like is the perfect weight. It's not too heavy, it's not too dry, and it has a beautiful scent. This is like summer forever vibes. The scent, the notes in this are coconut, almond blossom, and vanilla, and it truly will make you feel like it's summer in your shower all year round. So if that's your vibe, for me, I love summer. Summer and fall are my favorite seasons. I live in New England. You really have to check this one out because it's so beautiful. The packaging is also so cute. I mean, this is glass, but it has like that matte kind of finish and it's easy to grip in the shower. And this top is super easy to grip because I think you can see here it has like the ridge, the ridges. So I find it's really easy to grip and I'm not worried about, you know, just dropping it, but so good. Let's talk about Dead Cool Milk. This is my first foray into Dead Cool, and you know, a lot of my friends have been talking about them forever. When I saw that they were coming to Sephora and they had the mini of the Dead Cool Milk, this was, I grabbed this during the Sephora Friends and Family sale. So I'm gonna look up the notes really quick while I'm here. The milk is really cool because it's at the base of all of Dead Cool's fragrances, and I wore this in New York City and I got so many compliments that my friend Nicolette and Star were wearing um, Taunt, and blonde and they it smelled both of them smelled amazing and we got stopped wherever we went and people asking us what we were wearing but the cool thing about milk is that again you can wear this alone or you can wear this sort of like as your base and then layer another fragrance so it's just three notes bergamot white musk and amber and it just smells like a cozy warm in your sheets like you're wearing your boyfriend's sweatshirt and you'll learn this about me as I start posting more about fragrance that all of my fragrances have a very like person vibe you know like a missing person by Fleur exactly that like I like to smell and I think these smell so individual on different people and I think that's the thing I love about really uh, skin like scents like Glossier U this is just like to me a much more grown up adult version of Glossier U and it smells different on everyone. It smells incredible. And so I was, um, I grabbed this again during that Sephora friends and family sale. And then when I saw that Credo was having their 20% off sale, Sephora doesn't have extra milk. So everyone asked for a more potent, more long wearing version of milk and Sephora didn't have it, but Credo had it, and so I immediately ordered it from Credo, and I have the full size now. And again, I think their perfumes are extremely well-priced. This was $90 for this full size, which will last me a long time because I have a large collection, but I cannot stop reaching for it. And this, to me, smells like a little bit just deeper, um, a little bit more woody, whereas this one smells like a tiny bit lighter, but I love them both, and... I even like to layer them both. They're so great and I think a lot of people will love this. I have never in my life gotten more DMs on Instagram than I did about milk. 
everyone was like, I blind bought this, you know, this small size is $30 and then it was 20% off in the sale. They're like, I blind bought this and it's incredible. My husband wears it. I wear it. Hundreds of DMs from people who bought this and love this based off my recommendation. And so, so good. I feel like it's one of those fragrances that everyone I think will really, really love. I really want to explore more from them. They even have a laundry detergent and that sounds incredible, so I think I need it. All right, another body product. I have these Ressore, is it Ressore or Ressore towels? So I have some of the smaller face cloths, and I also have a full body towel from them. I think I might have two. But the thing that's really unique about these is, so I'll read right off their site, made from a unique blend of antibacterial eco-friendly fibers. It's designed to be soft, fluffy, absorbent, kill acne causing bacteria, rejuvenate your skin and spend less time in your laundry basket, protecting the health of your skin. And so basically the whole idea is it has silverback and lyocell, which are antibacterial and work to break down germs and odors and stopping the spread and incubation of bacteria and potent skin irritants. They're hypoallergenic and anti-aging because they have really soft and advanced fibers. And they're supposed to be especially helpful for those with acne and rosacea. And I really love these because truly like they're the softest face and body towels I've ever used. I know my friend Rachel also loved these and her boyfriend stole them and she had to buy them for him. They're incredibly soft, but I do feel like they say, you know, you have to wash a regular towel every three times. These, because of their antibacterial properties, you don't have to wash, wash as often. So I typically wash mine once a week still, but I used to be someone who, because I have had cystic acne and I'm very acne prone, I something that I constantly have to work on every day. I would use a new washcloth every morning and every night and I had 14 and I would wash them every week. And so with this, I feel like I only need, you know, I don't wash my face in the morning anymore. So I really only need one of these and it lasts me a week. And same with a body towel. I love that I don't feel like I have to do more laundry and they're extremely soft and luxe and totally pricey, but I would spend my own money on this. These were sent to me. I would buy these and I would love to get them as a gift and I would love to give these as a gift, especially for people who, you know, like suffer from skin issues. Highly recommend these as a good gift option. They have some different colors as well if you don't want white. I'm really, really impressed with them and I've had really no skin irritation or, you know, acne breakouts caused by my towels since I've switched to just using the one every night, which is amazing. So we all love less laundry, right? So definitely check these out. Let's jump into my skincare favorites. So I've talked a lot about the Merit Great Skin Serum this month, and I'm going to talk about it some more. So this has four types of hyaluronic acid to hydrate. It also has, and you can see here, this is a biphase serum, meaning typically it has an oil layer and a water layer, and you mix them to combine two different formulas, essentially, and it's basically a way to get a two-in-one product. And while this doesn't have plant oils, it does have a bunch of really nice emollients that soften our skin, help our skin hold on to hydration, and really seal in the hydration. So this is I think a fantastic introduction into skincare for Merit. The reason being is that a lot of people are really hesitant to introduce oils and while this doesn't have plant oils, again, it has those emollients, but because it's combined into one, it's gonna be easier I think for the average person to just you know apply this, they get a little extra nourishment and you know, reduce tool, which is trans epidermal water loss with the emollients that are in there. It also has 2% niacinamide. Niacinamide helps with brightening, evening the skin tone, and it also helps to strengthen the skin barrier. It also has some caffeine rich cacao seed extract that helps to do some plumping, and it has Japanese gold thread root for some soothing and antioxidant protection. But this is just a really great serum, I think, for the everyday person. If you were a skincare junkie, you might be like, this isn't that special of a serum, and you're probably right. But for the everyday person, this is 
first off, this is I think $38 for 1.7 ounces. So this bottle is almost double the size of a regular serum. And so I think a lot of people are going to really love this. I don't recommend applying this over SPF like I've seen in a lot of ads. I would apply this as my uh, serum step. So, you know, cleanse, tone, essence, serums, and then I would apply my moisturizer or SPF. With this, I personally use one pump, so it looks like I've barely used any. I only need one little pump, and it works kind of as my moisturizer as well as my hydration step. So again, it's like a two-in-one product, which I think is going to shorten a lot of people's routines. I have a lot of virtual clients, and they're always asking, you know, I only have two minutes in the morning. I have little kids. My job is so busy. I'm always traveling. I really need to shorten my routine, and I think this is where you know, this is exactly where that kind of fits into a lot of people's lives. But again, if you're a skincare junkie, you're like, eh, I don't need a product that's basically hydrators, you know, mixed with some oils or emollients. And for, you know, for the regular person though, I think this will be a really great addition. So I really enjoy this and I think my makeup looks incredible on this. Again, if you've followed me for any bit of time, you know that I am the biggest stan of their stick. I mean, look at this is my like second or third tube. I love this, but it really does need a good moisturizing base to apply smoothly. And I think they nailed this. I think they nailed it. And I'm excited to see what other skincare they come out with. Okay, another product that I've been absolutely obsessed with in October and still now into November is the Retinaldehyde Serum Cream sorry, cream serum, 0.05% uh, by Naturium. I knew when they were going to come out with a retinol, it was going to blow our minds. And so just to give a little bit of an explainer on retinol, so there's retinol with an O, and that's the lowest level of retinol for beginners. Then we have retinaldehyde, which sometimes is shortened to retinol with an A, and that is basically one step below retinoic acid, which is usually in prescription form. And I have been using retinoic acid or tretinoin and now Tazerac for a long time, since I was 15, because again, I had cystic acne my entire life. And so I do really love pairing my Tazerac with something more gentle, because the goal is you want to be able to use a retinol or retinoic acid or whatever you're using daily to get the results. And so I love being able to, every other day, I can use my Tazerac, and then I use this, and then I go back to my Tazerac. And I really only need to exfoliate like once a week, if at all, and usually just kind of like where I need it, where I'm prone to breakouts. So I'm really, really impressed with this one. And the price, you cannot beat the price. 1.7 fluid ounces for $29. This is the most affordable retinol to hide serum on the market. And I really want to show you guys the texture and I'm just realizing I have swatches on that hand. So the texture feels like this should be a 100 plus dollar product. It's a beautiful gel cream and a lot of retinols with an A again are yellow because that's just like the natural color of them and they can turn your face yellow. I don't find this does this. It blends just beautifully into the skin and the texture and again, I feel this way about Natarium products. The textures feel like these products should be a lot more expensive than they are, which is obviously incredible that there are these affordable options. You know, my sister, even though she could afford to spend more, she really doesn't like to. And so she mo uses mostly Natarium because she loves the price point. Packaging is great and the experience and just feel and texture everything feels cosmetically elegant which is so awesome for that price point so because this is slow release it's going to be quite gentle but just be warned if you haven't ever used any retinol this wouldn't be the first one i would jump into i would start with a retinol with an o and then work your way up once you feel really comfortable using one of those every day then switch to a retinol i have friends who were very comfortable with retinol, jumped right to this, used it every day and messed up their skin. So you really wanna make sure you start really slow with this. When you are moving up in retinols, I say like pretend like you've never used it before and start again once a week, then twice a week, then three times a week, making sure that your skin is really nourished and your barrier is happy the whole way and pair back if you're getting any irritation. But again, she's potent, but also for my skin, 
skin because again I'm so used to retinoids this one is um, in my opinion really gentle and it's the perfect balance with Tazerac and I can't stop talking about it it's so good let's talk about the sashi skin pro resilience serum so i love sashi skin they're known for their very complex multitasking formulas they basically combine like three different serums into one so while the price may seem scary at first you're actually kind of reducing all of your steps in your routine and let's talk specifically about this new launch so this is very hydrating and soothing this is going to really streamline your routine. This is loaded with antioxidants, peptides. It has their signature Ayurvedic botanicals. It also has five hydrators to help hydrate. These all help to reduce the appearance of redness, stress, irritation, flare-ups, and rebalance your skin for a more even skin tone. We all know that the barrier's importance in you know, not only eliminating skin issues, but also in if you're trying to get rid of hyperpigmentation, it is extremely crucial to keep your barrier nice and strong, continue to apply SPF and all of that. And so this one is really perfect for a one and done barrier supporting, hydrating and soothing serum, but it also has additional well aging benefits with the peptides and antioxidants and all of that sort of stuff. So it's really just one of those beautiful one and done serums and I feel like Sashi between their pigmentation correcting serum which is one of my all-time favorites ever they have their retinol with an a they also have a chemical exfoliator and this you really just have everything you need right there it's right now I have all of this texture because I'm having a reaction to a product that my skin did not like and this felt immediately soothing and immediately took down redness and I think it's such a great addition to those routines if you want something a really good hydrating serum but that is also going to be anti-aging but it's also going to really strengthen support and protect your skin's barrier lastly I want to talk about the Amora Vitsa even tone serum so I've been getting really deep into Amora Vitsa and really discovering their products and I just become more and more obsessed with this brand the more that I try I haven't ever found a brand that really combines just results driven science backed but also with the natural elements of the earth combined with beautiful packaging cosmetically elegant textures I mean I could go on and on but it's really just everything I would ever want in a luxury brand right here this uses amber microalgae which basically only corrects areas where melanin is in excess without an overall lightening effect to the skin so this is especially great if you're a person of color you don't want to brighten your whole face you basically just want to target the pigmentation in your skin it also has mandelic and gluconic acids but they're extremely gentle for stimulating cell turnover but I can use this with other actives with no issue because like I said they have a very small amount and it's very very gentle you know if you had ultra sensitive skin I probably would you know use this in the morning and maybe use other actives at night and not together in the same routine but I've had no issues it also has niacinamide which again all of just one of those great even skin tones strengthens the skin barrier and helps with post blemish discoloration especially it also captures the minerals of Budapest Thermal Water, um, which is the healing concentrate that's in all of their products, and it helps boost collagen production, and it reduces cellular inflammation. So our skin is made up of tons of different minerals. The thermal waters in Budapest basically have all of those minerals that help free replenish our skin, and so that's kind of their whole thing. And they use a lab that has won Nobel Prizes. They did an eight-week clinical study on this and they saw improvements in 100% of panelists in that 28 days. So I've been really impressed with this as well. The texture is beautiful. It has a really light um, neroli scent. A lot of their fragrances are really luxe smelling. I'm very picky about fragrance. They have a light like this one has like a light like citrus or neroli scent. It's really beautiful. You only need like one drop of this for your whole face. So their stuff is definitely pricier, but they have great sales. And the t I mean, everything about it is just worth it in my opinion. So silky and easy to move across your face that you don't need a lot of product. So really, really enjoying that one. Everything smells like a spa. 
in the best way. Really light, light fragrance. So you get just like a really beautiful experience, but it's not overwhelming. It doesn't linger on the face. And I really need to do a video with all of my favorites from this brand because I just keep discovering more and more and I am definitely reaching for their stuff consistently and emptying containers regularly now. So if you're interested in hearing more about this brand, let me know if you would want to see a brand favorites. It's definitely on the pricier side, but I know I have a lot of Lux beauty lovers who follow me who maybe would love to splurge on a product or two to introduce to their routine. And I really, really love this and really just excited about this brand in general. I did a facial with them in New York. You know, last week and my, this, my skin looked the best it had ever looked in my entire life and I ruined it by trying a new product the next day but it I'm just been really blown away and their whole team is just obsessed with the brand they've all been there a really long time they truly truly believe in the products and I do too I would just love to know if that's a brand that's interesting to you if you would want to hear more about their products and learn about my favorites. This sums up my favorites. I hope this was super helpful for y'all. Let me know what you were loving this month and I would love to check out your recommendations below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.